Hi friends, this is Andy from TechStore and in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest uh, Dell Inspiron 3000 series of laptops. Uh, it is the Dell 3542 that we are reviewing today. And mind it, we are only reviewing the series, the look and feel of the series. There might be variants with Core i3, Core i5 or Core i7, they will all look the same. And they are all having ultra low voltage processors with 4th generation processors in it. And the biggest uh, thing you know, which I feel is uh, thumbs down is expandability of RAM which is only 8GB. You cannot upgrade the RAM beyond 8GB for this laptop. So to start things up, let me showcase the laptop for you. Starting with uh, the battery, it has a 40 watt hour battery as you can see. It's a 4 cell lithium ion battery. So Dell has continued with the 4 cell uh, where it left off in 3521. Uh, it has a 2630mAh uh, power rating and 14.8 volts. The adapter is a standard looking uh, Dell adapter with the Dell uh, standard looking pin connector. The power ratings are 19.5 volts and 3.34 uh, amperes. So this is the adapter that comes along with it. It comes along with the power cable also, standard looking power cable. Now this is the way it looks on the top panel as you can see. It's got this beautiful little textured finish uh, all over on the top panel. This is the black variant that we are reviewing today. Dell logo pretty neatly placed in the center of the LCD panel. Cornered edges not rounded. So this is the way the top panel looks. It will look the same for the 14 as well as the 15 inches. So if you are looking at a 3442, the black variant will have the same finishing on the top panel. This is the max uh, tilt angles as you can see. The tilt angle is not all that great. It's a uh, maximum of around 120, 130 degrees, not beyond that. Almost as slim as the 3521. There's no major difference as such. They've done a lot of design changes in this uh, laptop. So this is the way it looks once uh, opened up. Uh, pretty upright as you can see. The screen is uh, uh, really nice. It's basically a glare HD LED. You'll see your reflection all the time. Now that is where the Vostros and the Inspiron uh, stand apart. And the same laptop in Dell Vostro having the same finishing as having a glare, uh, anti-glare HD coating. And with the Inspiron has got a glare HD coating that is a reflective screen. So let me get up close the keyboard and the palm rest area for you. So it's got a full size 15.6 uh, inches uh, laptop has got a full size chiclet keyboard with uh, numpad. It does not have a backlit. So that again is a serious thumbs down. You'd expected a backlit keyboard, but uh, the same uh, stone crush matte finish is there uh, on the inner side, contrary to the outside textured panel, as you can see. The palm rest area is pretty huge. Uh, really nice uh, amount of space given but the touchpad is tad smaller if you can see they would have occupied the entire thing and would have made the touchpad much much better so this entire portion over here is uh, wasted the hinges are very nicely and uh, sturdily placed the part over here also is having the same uh, stone crush matte finishing it's no glossy whatsoever. Power button is over here. Let's power it. Basically, it's got a indicator over here as you can see. And this is the camera quality. Uh, I was really impressed for a Celeron dual core based laptop. Also, if you're getting uh, this camera quality, absolutely neat. If you compare the com compa uh, competition at this point of time, absolutely no lags and uh, really nice video quality uh, for the camera that they've given they've given a 720p hd cam now let me showcase the audio quality for you As you can see it's clearly better than 3521 this is where the speakers are one speaker over here Another speaker over here, the two speakers in total. Good audio quality I would say. Not very good, not Dolby certified to be precise. 
you can give a 3 out of 5 for uh, audio quality on this laptop the screen is uh, pretty vivid as it is the HDLED 1366 into 768 is the maximum resolution that it supports so on the left side you can see uh, you have the Kensington lock uh, you have the charging pin connector you have the heat dissipation vent area HDMI and you have Ethernet USB 3.0 another USB 2.0 headphone and mic combi jack this entire thing is having a glossy finish uh, there is a stickering that is there on the top of it so if you remove the stickering it will be visible so you can see over here it's got this glossy finish this entire part over here but it is protected by the thin film over here in the top panel in the front uh, you don't have any IO readers whatsoever you just have one indicator over here power indicator that's it nicely rounded uh, over here as you can see neatly rounded and on the right uh, you have a DVD writer another USB 2.0 port and a, my, a memory card reader area so this is what uh, it has, the I.O. ports on the rear there are no I.O. ports as you can see let me showcase the base for you so base also lacks a lot of heat dissipation vent area uh, there could be more of these meshes all over here but there are not this part here in cases the hard drive and the RAM so in another video we will show you how to upgrade the Dell Inspiron 3542 the rudders also are flat, very flat. Both are having the same height. It's having a leather textured finish over here. Mm, uh, stone crush textured finish here actually. Alright, so this my friends uh, is a review of the Dell Inspiron 3542. Um, the high points for this laptop are the 4th generation ULV processors, HD cam. 720p and uh, it's got it's got two speakers with max audio certification 4 cell lithium ion battery 40 watts is the adapter rating 2.16 kgs on an average it comes in four variants black silver blue and red we have reviewed the black variant and uh, it's got uh, core i3 dual core celeron dual core core i5 all fourth generation process it comes in non touch as well as touch uh, variant so you need to be sure when you're buying it and it does not have a backlit, it has RAM upgradability only up to 8GB and hard drive upgradability only up to 1TB. It's got an inbuilt face recognition software and uh, spill resistant keyboard. And the graphic card variants, the laptops like Core i3 with graphic card have NVIDIA GT 820M graphics card on board on it. So that's a good thing. Uh, Dell earlier were all with 80 radio and AMD graphics but Dell has now come out with this series which is only having NVIDIA graphic card on board along with Intel HD 4000 series of processors so it has got DDR3L memory 1600 MHz and it gives you a backup of around 4 to 5 hours easily on a normal usage 4 to 5 hours is what uh, we have analyzed and uh, checked with so thank you so much for watching guys uh, do let us know if your suggestions and comments you can buy this laptop on our website techstore.co.in and do not forget to subscribe to us thank you so much